Yo, 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 what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Meb here. I'm back again, back to bring you uh, a new episode of Welcome to the COG. This is episode two, and today we're going to be talking about game modes and new maps. That is right, guys. New maps and new game mode is on the way. Well, it's not relatively new, it's an old game mode, but it was taken out of Gears of War Judgment. Um, the new the game mode that's going to be added on April 2nd is going to be um, Execution. A lot of fans were disappointed when they bought the game that Execution wasn't in there, which is true because, you know, Gears of War was always was always a, like, Execution game. It was either Execution or Warzone. Most people played. And I can understand a lot of people being upset that Execution isn't in there. Even though I don't play Execution like that anymore, but I still like it. You know, it's a nice little addition. But the developers said, yeah, they're going to... Um, give you execution free of charge but the, also a new map called haven um the link will be in the description below i saw the new map haven it looks really nice it's really big it's very uh very spacious and everything like that it's it, it's like um it's almost as big as rig as you can say and you know rig is a pretty good map so i mean it's not a complaint or whatever i just wish they were releasing more maps than just one map and it is free so, you know, that's also another cool thing about it that is free. But because of that, I really wanted to talk about this topic is giving out DLC towards games um, like a month after its release. Now, Gears of War Judgment was released last week and it, the game is already getting DLC, which is fine. But at the same time, you have to think that was this game rushed because why are we getting dlc so soon and it's just it just it goes to show that you know that that maybe they planned it from the beginning that you know obviously hey we want to get this game out um before march so we just gotta ship this out without the other map and just, you know it's whatever but i really don't i really don't like that because when you're purchasing a game, especially a game that's like sixty dollars plus tax, sixty-five, you're looking at, uh, not including if you're buying like the uh, collector's edition or whatever. When you're buying a game, you know you want to get the most bang for your buck out of that product. And in today's economy now, it's you know it sucks to waste money. And not saying that I feel that I waste the money on the game because I am a die-hard Gears fan. And regardless, of, and regardless, of, I don't like Gears of War Judgment. The way I thought I would doesn't mean uh, I'm not going to play it. I'm going to try to give it a shot and give it a try, you know. But the thing is that that I just don't like when game developers and game companies, they release a game and then a month later they release a map pack out for it. And 9 says out of 10, you have to pay for those map packs. I know that Gears of War Judgment, they're doing the, uh, they're giving the maps away for, uh, for they're giving the map and the mode away for free. Now, you can even argue that back in um, 2011, when um, Gears of War 3, they were, supposed to, they were supposed to ship out maps with the game too, uh, but they didn't. The thing, the thing about that is, I think there were like five maps, they were all free, and they were free in November or something like that. Now, that's like a two month period of when the game came out, like a, yeah, like, a, like a month or two month period of when the game came out. Now, and, and it came with five maps. Now this is coming with a, a game mode that we already had in previous Gears games, and now we're also having a we're also having a uh, one map, which I think is a little bit unacceptable because you know not for nothing like playing on the same four or three maps is not exciting. It gets boring really quickly. It gets repetitive. It gets stale, and it's just like you're tired of seeing the same old scenery over and over and over and over and over again, and I like the concept of what they do with, you know, feeling less restricted. You know, you can just drop down and take full damage and stuff like that. I understand that. That's all cool and gravy. But I just feel that it just took a lot. They just took a lot away that I just didn't. I just don't really appreciate. And as a Gears fan, and as a Gears fan, I just feel that they're taking a step back instead of forward. I mean, I see they're implementing implicating new game game mechanics into the game to make it more faster paced and make it more action packed and everything like that but the thing is that these developers they like and you'll see it in the uh the link below because i'm going to show you guys a link for the new map the pro players that are playing it and also what the developers say of the future of gears 3 is um what the future of gears is 
Now, you can see the developers and the people that are talking and the people that are talking to the developers, they love Gears of War 1. And don't get me wrong, Gears of War 1 is a great game. Personally, me, I think it's a little too stiff for me to play, but a lot of people like Gears of War 1. Now, Gears of War Judgment does cater to Gears of War 1 fans because it takes away, it takes away like, the... Uh, the bullet soaking sponge effect when you're shooting somebody and they get pushed back like they take that away and and like yeah it's just you know it seems more you know restricted like gears one and you can tell those people are, are huge fans of gears one and things like that which is fine there's no problem with that it's just that i just don't like i just don't want those developers and those people to live in the past and I just want them to realize that Gears of War, as a franchise, has to flourish and become better than what it is. Because if you just keep the, st the same old gameplay and the same old uh, mechanics of the game, people are just going to get tired and bored of them. Like, yo, I keep buying the same game over and over and over again. Basically, like the same thing with Call of Duty. Like, Call of Duty keeps, um, keeps making a new game every year. Basically, it's just a new coat of paint, new maps, new guns, but it's the same gameplay over and over and over and over again. And people tend to, are, at this time, are getting tired of it, and they want something new. That's why a lot of people are going towards Battle, Battlefield 3 or Crisis 3, and they're also looking at the new game that's coming out, which will be shown at E3, um, that uh, Infinity Ward. I forgot the new name that they have. Um, people, the original people that left Infinity Ward, they're making a new game. And a lot of people are looking for that first person shooter and they want to see what that's about. But not to get off topic about Gears, that I just don't want people to live in the past to hold the game back and to truly flourish. Because I think Gears of War 3's multiplayer was really, 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 really fucking good. Not, not saying that it didn't have its faults. It does have some faults. It just needed a couple of tweakings in the area. And with Gears of War Judgment, it seems like they stripped everything from Gears 3, kept a little bit of it, and then just put Gears of War 1 on it and just uh, mixed it all together and just said, hey, we're just going to work it from there. And yes, they are, it is made by, um, by different developer People Can Fly, and it is made by um, Epic Games as well. But a lot of people that were part of the uh, Gears of War franchise, like Cliff Buzinski and Rob Ferguson, uh, those are the two main guys that were like the head overseers of uh, Gears of, the Gears of War franchise. They left, uh, I believe, like last year, or late last year. So you know they really didn't have uh, much hearsay of the game. So personally, me, I just like I just want the game to be more. I just want I just don't want the game to feel the same and be the same. I don't want it to have less maps. I want it to have more maps. I want it to flourish. I want it to be much I want it to be bigger and better than what it already is. You know, because as a gamer you want a game to succeed. You want a game to you want a game to flourish. You want it to be the best that it can be. And that's with all games today because you don't want one game like Call of Duty just staying on top constantly. Because then People are gonna be like, you know what? I can't, I can't make a cold. You know, you're not supposed to make a cold duty game. You're supposed to make your own game. Envision it how you want to. Just because Call of Duty's making Call of Duty money doesn't mean you can make your own money by making that game. So success comes from from uh, from motivation and being driven on what you want to do. And I'm motivated to push Gears of War to make it the best game possible. And as a player of that franchise, I really, really want this game to be the best that it can be. And as a player, I will stand by its side and tell you what its faults are, what its positives are, you know, in its ins and outs and in between. But, um, yeah, that's really what I wanted to talk about today on uh, Welcome to the COG. Thank you guys for listening. Um, kind of went off a little off topic here, but, you know, that's how it goes on this show. I will see you guys next week for another episode of Welcome to the COG. Peace out.